the first and best victory is to conquer self. Play to learning to effectively lead yourself and others all comes down to discipline. Happiness, success, and fulfillment stem from focus and self-control. It may be hard to believe when you're facing an all-you-can-eat buffet, the prospect of making a quick buck, or the lazy lure of sleeping in versus getting on the pillow tone, but studies show that people with self-discipline are happier. Why? Because with discipline and self-control we actually accomplish more of the goals we truly care about. Self-discipline is the bridge between goals defined and goals accomplished. Chapter 8 of my new book, Embrace the Suck, The Navy Seal Way to an Extraordinary Life, is titled Win More Through Discipline and Accountability. People with a higher degree of self-control spend less time debating whether to indulge in behaviors and activities that don't align with their V. They are more decisive. They don't let impulses or feelings dictate their choices. They are the architects of their own beliefs and the actions they take to achieve a desired outcome. As a result, they aren't as easily distracted by temptation and tend to feel more satisfied with their lives. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius here are specific strategies you can execute to learn self-discipline and gain the willpower to live a happier, more fulfilling life. If you are looking to take control of your habits and choices, here are the 8 most powerful things you can do to master self-discipline, which is imperative for life beyond your comfort zone, and maybe even redefining extraordinary. Step 1. Know your strengths and weaknesses. We all have weaknesses. Whether they're the desire for alcohol, tobacco, unhealthy food, obsession over social media, or the video game Fortnite, what the heck is with this game by the way? They have a similar effect on us. Weaknesses don't just come in the form of areas where we lack self-control either. We all have our strong suits and the stuff we kind of stink at. For example, I don't care for having difficult conversations, lengthy paperwork that involves digging up old documents I never saved in the first place, holding my temper when someone is shooting at me, or calling into automated phone systems.